Hi, I'm Talisa. Welcome to our PMOD monthly video from April. This month we're focusing on the PMOD OLED RGB, which you can see here. Uh, this is a brand new PMOD, just released last month, so we're pretty excited about it. Uh, we've also got the PMOD button here. Both PMODs you can purchase for 30% off using a promo code at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. The PMOD OLED RGB is a 96 by 64 pixel organic LED display that you could use to display virtually anything you want. Um, it can do full color images, graphs, or you could even display the output from an oscilloscope, say, if you wanted to. Um, it's got a 12-pin PMOD connector, which we've designed to plug directly into PMOD host ports, like you see here on the periphery of the Chipkit Pro MX7. It communicates via SBI, so it needs to be plugged into PMOD host port JD, JE, or JF on this particular board. Uh, the PMOD button can be plugged into any of the PMOD host ports here, as it's just a simple GPIO PMOD. Um, although either of these PMODs could work with any microcontroller or FPGA board, we've written a library and a demo that makes it uh, very, very easy to use with this uh, Chipkit Pro MX7. So Tommy is going to explain the library in some more detail and the demo for you guys. The library includes simple functions that allow us to do many things with our PMOD OLED RGB. Draw line allows us to draw a line from point A to point B of any color we'd like. Draw bitmap lets us use an 8-bit color array to draw a bitmap on the screen. I use these functions along with a few of my own to create the old school snake games, as you might remember if you had a Nokia cell phone. Or if you ever went to an arcade in the 80s. Using an MX7 Pro, I used the PMOD button on port JF, as well as a PMOD OLED RGB on port D. The title screen, as well as the plug in your controller screen, was created using the draw bitmap function. These 8-bit arrays were created using paint, which I then extract using a hex editor, and uh, turn into 8-bit array form using a Python script. These arrays were then stored into read-only memory and uh, accessed when I called the uh, draw bitmap function. The title screen uses five different constant frames that are cycled through to give the illusion that the tongue is coming in and out of his mouth. The actual game uses a 48 by 32 array that plots where the snake is and where the food is. Each frame, the tail of the snake is deleted and the head of the snake is added depending on which button was pressed last. This gives you the illusion that the snake is moving from one side of the screen to the other. In the end, we have the classic game of snake on our Chipkit Pro MX7 on our PMOD OLED RGB. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the demo and got an idea of some of the fun things you could do with the PMOD OLED RGB. Remember that both the OLED RGB and the PMOD button are on sale for 30% off the duration of the month of April. Just enter in PMOD monthly April 16 at checkout on our website. Please remember to check the description below for links to the library and demo code as well as the instructable that we've created that walks through step by step exactly how to recreate the project we showed today and subscribe to stay up to date on Digilance products and services. Thanks. Or went to an arcade in the 80s. Or if you ever went to an arcade in the 80s or if you ever had a childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's snake. Everybody knows snake. All right. <laughs>